the internet chapter 4 the next topic in this chapter is basic terminologies that is used in internet the first one is website the information available on the internet is contained in the websites and on the web pages as a book contains a number of pages similarly a website is a collection of related web pages linked to one another web page information is put on the internet in the form of digital pages called web pages these pages may contain text graphics video audio and links to other pages home page the main page of any website which contains links to other pages is called the home page by default it is the first page of every website web browser a web browser is a software application or program that allows you to access the entire information available on the web you can normally open your web browser from a shortcut on your desktop browsers make it very easy to move from one website to another you can visit any website by entering its url in the address bar of a web browser examples of some popular web browsers are internet explorer google chrome mozilla firefox opera etc search engines a search engine is a software that searches for any information required by a user the search is made on various web pages on the world wide web some of the most popular search engines are google bing yahoo etc the next topic is opening a web page to visit a website or a web page you need to put its url url means the full form of url is uniform resource locator this is url you can see on your screen wikipedia.org this is the url of wikipedia okay wikipedia.org is the url of wikipedia the free encyclopedia that appears on top of every web browser now this is a web browser and this is the address bar you can see this is the address bar where the user has to type the url of a website okay the url of a website is to be typed in the address bar to do this place the cursor at the address bar and type the address what you need to do is you just simply put your mouse pointer on the address bar let press the left mouse button and start typing the url for example www.wikipedia.org after you after you finish typing press the enter key once we have typed the url just press the enter key and the website of wikipedia is shown as it is there on the screen you can see this is the page of wikipedia 
This is a web page. The first page of any website is also known as the home page. So this is the Wikipedia's home page. If I'll move on, click on English, I'll move to the English side. Spaniel, Dutch, Francis, Italian or Portuguese and so on. There's are different languages. Okay. So if, if you click one by one, you'll move from one page to the another web page to another web page. So web pages are interlinked, are connected to each other. I will also uh, provide you a practical video in which I will show you the website, web page, what is website, what is web page, what is home page, what is a web browser and what is a search engine. So that you will, you will be able to ex know each one of them in a better way. The next topic is best practices related to online safety. So that means what are the rules that you should follow when you are online. First is protect your system. Protect your system means protect your computer. How can you protect your computer? Use antivirus. Now antivirus is what? Antivirus is a software that you have to download it in your computer so that no other virus can harm your system. Antivirus is a program that protects your system against virus. It identifies, prevents and removes viruses from a computer. McPhee, AVG, QuickHeal, Symantec and Norton are some of the commonly used antivirus software. You should always keep an updated version of the antivirus software installed on your system. Keep backup of your data. Backup means you should have the another copy of the same data. It is always advisable to keep backup of your data on a secondary storage device. Secondary storage device means your pen drive. So if there is an important data in your computer, you should have the another copy of it and it should be there on your secondary storage device that is your PD. This keeps your data safe even, you, even if your computer faces a virus attack. Always scan attachments. Email is the most common means of transferring virus, Trojan, malware, etc. to your system. You should always run an antivirus scan for all the attachments attached to any email before saving it to your computer. Think before you click. While surfing internet, you may come across several options. While selecting them, be vigilant to select the appropriate one. Take the help of your teachers or elders while making the selection. Next is protect yourself. So there are two ways in which you can protect. You can practice the online safety. First is protect your system and second one is protect yourself. Now let's see how you can protect yourself while online. Choose strong passwords. Password is a safe way to prove your identity while using email accounts, e-banking or your computer itself. So that means whenever you are logging on the internet, you should have a strong password that no one can judge, no one can recognize. You should always choose a strong and unique password so that it cannot be guessed easily. It should contain a combination of letters, numbers and special symbols. Do not give your personal details to strangers. Giving personal details to anyone over the internet can prove harmful for you. 
your details can be misused by people with bad intentions for their personal benefits that means if you don't know a person while chatting you should never talk to them okay first of all never share your personal details personal details as in like your email id your phone numbers your banking details and so on be careful when making friends on internet you can meet a number of people on the internet many of them pretend to be what they are not so you should choose your friends carefully practice caution when shopping online always check the validity of the website you are shopping from be extra careful when sharing your car details or payment or making payments online responsibilities of a good digital citizen we all these days we all are a digital citizen digital citizen means a person who is working on the internet who is using internet so what are our responsibilities so that we can be a good digital citizens these are observe your etiquettes when online you should always follow proper code of conduct when you are online do not use harsh language okay so that means you should be very much careful that whatever you are talking to anyone it should not be harsh report unlawful activities if you notice any harassing threatening or illegal activity on the internet always report it to your elders for example if you see an abusive remark made to anybody inform your teacher or parents about it do not tamper with others files and folders it is an unhealthy practice to tamper with the files and folders created by other people tamper means you should not open anyone's files or folders and you should not make any changes in that it is prohibited you should not open delete or copy anything created by anyone else without taking his or her permission never create a fake identity always keep your identity real over internet do not project yourself as someone else do not copy information as it is from internet it is an illegal practice to copy any kind of information such as text music video etc directly from the internet into your document always understand the concept and interpret it in your own language which means that when the teachers ask you to make any project do not copy the same information as it is given on the internet use your brain use your brain and get it interpreted in your own language so this is how we come to an end of this chapter in my next class i will be giving you the answer key of exercises and the answers of the question answers of this chapter thank you all